When people hear that I'm a pagan, they automatically presume that that means I'm a heathen. It doesn't exactly mean that. In parts of my life, it is true, I know that I'm somewhat heathenous, if that's a word. But those parts of my life are very, very private to me. What I do know that as, as a pagan is that there's a philosophy of paganism. And while I'm not a druid and I'm not a full-out Wiccan, I do have some practices of paganism. And my practicism, practices of paganism are my faith thought, my pendulum. And openly, my practices and my philosophies of paganism come from an international federation of paganism, meaning those are the tenets, the six or so tenets that I hold most dear in my life. And I try to practice those tenets almost every single day. But part of being a soothsayer of Celtic background, and seriously, Celtic background, is the ability to rebuke people. That is one of my gifts. It is a pain in the ass and is hard for me to do because I don't like to piss people off, but most people don't want to hear from God. They talk about how they want to get a psychic reading someday for fun. But when we start to nail them to the cross, they get upset because what they do immediately wrong is they walk off and they start telling people what they're reading. And then those people start to taint them about what they learned. You see, when you get a psychic reading from me or anyone else, a prophetic word of some kind, your job should be to go off and take some time on your own and meditate with the Lord. If it was me, I'd be going off and write things down in my journal, which I do. And when I, even when I give readings to people over the phone or in person, there's always something that the Lord says, that's for you too. And I know to stop the reading for a second. It doesn't take any ticker taper off the person's time. And I write down that note. Or I write down and down later if it's one of those things that I know I can remember. You see, in life, the notes from God for your life are for you. They're not for someone else's tainting. They're not for you to gossip about in fodder. Because fodder, as you know, fools a life. To have a fool's life is always being taintable. If you have no principles for your life, then you're always taintable. If you have no philosophy for your life, you're always taintable. If you have no faith for your life, then you're always taintable. If you don't practice spirituality in your life, then you're probably taintable.